This past summer brought historic rain and flooding to southwest Florida, and some experts say expansion is a big part of the problem. From 1996 to 2010, Lee County and Collier County lost more than 50,000 acres of wetlands to new homes. This is just a picture of some of the communities that were added, and they're very tightly packed, like this one. It leaves water a few places to go. Tonight, NBC2's Kristen Kruchane shows us what's being done to conserve green space and hopefully reduce the impact of major storms. Yeah, Peter and Kelly, we know that rainy season is coming to an end and hurricane season starting to wind down as well. But it's only a matter of time before we see another major weather event. And with more people moving here every day, the question becomes, how can our area handle growth while still managing big weather events? Now that Irma's hit, People were affected and they see how bad the flooding was, how destructive it was. The landscape of Southwest Florida is constantly changing. We come here quite often and each time we come we see a little bit of an improvement. It's estimated that 600 to 1,000 people move to Florida every day. Housing is needed to keep up with the growing population. There'll be expansion inland or attempts for expansion inland, but they're also going to make the coasts even more dense. One of the things we've noticed in the six years we've been here is how much green space is disappearing. But that green space is essential during major weather events like Hurricane Irma. So here we are losing, losing wetlands, losing water storage capacity and essentially um, further marginalizing low-lying communities like Benita. Each acre of wetland can store up to one and a half million gallons of flood water. As more wetlands disappear, southwest Florida becomes more vulnerable to flooding. When I look at the possibilities laying ahead for Florida, southwest Florida in 50 years, um, I've got great concern. Efforts are being made locally to conserve land. Programs like the Conservation 2020 program in Lee County are being used to help keep some wetlands. But some think it's not enough. The government has to buy up land and make sure that it's not developed because we're in danger of overdeveloping Florida, I think. The state legislature is working to preserve more wetlands in Florida. Just this week in Tallahassee, a bill to double the amount of money spent passed out of committee. It's still uncertain, though, if the funding will come through. Kristen Kershane, NBC2.